I am with two fairy princesses. <laughs> and you know, they are twins. They are, I'm with Chef Marco to oh, begin thanks. with. Yeah. Our good friend from Marco's Italian Restaurant. And his two daughters, twins, we have Gabriella and Maria. And we are making something great today. We are. What are we it's making? Well, seeing it's a morning show, I've never made breakfast. I'm going <gasps> to make breakfast today. We're going to do a cannoli stuffed French toast. Joe, did you hear that? I, I think he's on the ground. Somebody put yeah. pour water on his face. We need paramedics. Wow. Now, is this something you make with your two lovelies here? Yes, it is. We, uh, we try to make something different every Sunday. You know, it's usually pancakes or something crazy with an omelet. But French toast seems to be one of my favorites, actually. I, so I, I love French yeah, toast. absolutely. What are some of the ingredients that we're going to need? We're going to use a ricotta cheese, powdered sugar, vanilla, strawberries, syrup, some... Uh, Country, old country bread. Does that make a difference, the type of bread you use? Yes and no. The way, I use this because it's a little larger. We okay. can make a pocket and we can stuff it. So that's why I use this kind of bread. It's just a pan bread. You can see how the loaf is, you know, the loaf yep. fits the, the pan, yep. you know, nicely. But we're able to cut it a little thicker. Somebody once told me years ago, and I would have never known, that you, stale bread is actually good to make French, French toast. It comes out a little crusty, a little crunchier. Yeah, oh, it does. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. I left this in the garage for about a week. No, I'm kidding. It's fresh. It's, it's it's I, and? <laughs> that's, and? Only, that's where we keep it. That's our bread box. <laughs> that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, and how long does it take? Is it something, I, I'm assuming, kid-friendly? It is, absolutely. Well, I'm going to have, in a, the next segment, Maria will make up the cannoli mix and Gabriella will make the batter. And we just brown it on both sides. We're going to throw it in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes to get it all melted on the inside and fall in love and get nice and gooey. <sighs> and it takes you know, probably about 10, 15 minutes to make. All right, now, what is your favorite part about the French toast? Um, the powdered sugar. <gasps> yeah, you're just like my kids. And what about you? The cheese. The cheese. Uh, All yes. right, we're going to make French toast, stuffed French toast with toast with my little lovelies here and Chef Marco. <laughs> here we are. Chef Marco, we've got Gabriella yep. and Maria, two twin daughters of Chef Marco from Marco's Italian. That's right. Italiano Ristorante. Got it. That was good. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. We're we are making stuffed little, French toast. It's sort of Italian. We're going to stuff our French toast with cannoli filling. You know, the gasp we heard before, I thought it was Joe, was actually Melissa. Oh. Melissa was in the studio. She heard that and she went, <gasps> and then everybody's stomach started that was, to rumble. That's great. I love it. We're, we're prepping now. We're prepping. Gabriella's going to crack a couple eggs into the bowl. Okay. And I have Maria with the uh, ricotta cheese. She's going to season the ricotta cheese with some powdered sugar. Okay, let's show that vanilla. right here. Look at that. Mr. Lawrence is going to show that. I thought this was whipped cream. And how did you make it so light and fluffy? You just take your spoon and just whip it through and incorporate a little bit of air into it. Go ahead, Maria. Throw it in. She's adding just powdered sugar. Okay. And Gabriella's starting our batter, and she's just cracking some eggs. And this is what, vanilla? That's mm -hmm. vanilla, yeah. Okay. So you just start whipping it up. Did you have to work out for this to, to be able to do this ricotta thing? Yeah. Let me feel that muscle. <laughs> now, this is a great, I mean, this is really easy to help, you know, do with your kids. You want to keep them active in the kitchen. And, uh, you know, just, just showing them the fundamentals. This is a really simple dish. Like you said, we were talking earlier, and you said that breakfast is not intimidating. Because everybody, I mean, there's nothing so elaborate that you think, right. I can't do that. Exactly. So, so you put vanilla and sugar in the eggs, too? Yep. I've never heard of secret. that. So we're going to add a little bit of milk to make it... Uh, Thin down a little bit. Does it matter if you use like a skim milk or something? No. Will it taste different? No, it won't. It okay. just cuts, it reduces a little bit of the fat that you're going to be cooking with. But you know what? Truthfully, in French cooking and in, in French toast and breakfast, you want the fat because it's going right. to really be a. Make it rich. Exactly. A nice and rich dish. And one of my okay. little tricks here is, is to add a little bit of cinnamon. We're going to oh. add cinnamon twice. I like a little bit to the batter. And okay. then once we're cooking the, the French toast, we're going to put this all together when we're we come put it back. back. together, absolutely. All right. Keep stirring, Garrett, ladies. Keep stirring. Back to you guys. Tight ship. I've not been able to focus on anything <laughs> but the smell in the studio and Chef Marco, Gabriella, and Maria. We're putting together the stuffed French toast that is driving everybody crazy oh, right I know. now. We want to get the kids away from the video games and away from the, right. you know, the, the iPods and all those and put them in the kitchen and let them help you make this dish. It's very simple. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, so we put together the ricotta but, very stuffing. Good. That was good. Yeah. Ricotta yeah. And, the ricotta and we put vanilla nice. and sugar in there. Put vanilla That's and thing. sugar. And it's, and it's basically a cannoli recipe. I'm going to cut these. Now, my traditional French toast, or my French toast isn't like traditional French toast. It's huge. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is cut it about two inches thick. Okay. Put a pocket in there. Okay. Okay. If you don't have a pastry bag at home, I'm going to show you how to fill that. But through the magic of TV, I already have one filled. Look ready at to go. that. We're just going to insert the cheese right into so the middle. So you have the ricotta filling. I have the ricotta filling. And then Gabriella's going to put that in the batter, flip it around, 
and then we throw a little bit of cinnamon and then right into the hot butter. Now mm -hmm. I use butter. Oh, you do? It, it does yeah. taste it different? It really does taste different. Now, if you don't have a pastry bag, use a teaspoon, which I'll have Maria show you how to use. But we could um, stuff it that way. It's a little more time consuming, but you know what? It, it, there's no rules. As long as the kids are involved and we're doing it, I'll just hold take it the cheese and stuff. stuff it right in there. Oh, look at that. Now, you're going to want to put these in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes at about 350 degrees. That's glomit full. <laughs> stuff, that stuff, stuff, stuff. There yeah. you go. There's your choice. You sure that's enough? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, that's I'll great. leave that I'll up to you. And, and how long do you put it in? How do you get the sides cooked? Well, that's what we're going to throw it in the oven for. Oh. So we're going to, we, because it's so thick, we want it to finish baking. Okay. So I have a few made back there that we're going to, we're going to sample in a little while. All right. So while those are cooking, I like to give it just a little bit of press so that it cooks even. The pastry the uh, bag works much better. The pastry bag does work a lot better. Because it gets it right in there. Yeah. Like a donut. Fill it all up. Yes. Can only fill it. Absolutely. All so right. So it just we're making browns this. on both sides. And then we're going to, excuse me. And you can see how it got nice and crunchy on that one side. This side is not ready yet. All right. So we're getting that going. What do we else do we do? Well, while I love toppings. Mm. So fresh berries are in season right now. This is, this is one of the best toppings. We're just going to cut these up and set them aside and get ready to top them on our, our French toast when it's all done. And you, you always want to have maple syrup. I mean, a little bit of butter, maple syrup. And Maria's favorite on top of that is powdered sugar. Well, her second favorite. Her right favorite now. thing. Next to your dad. Do you guys hang out with daddy at the restaurant? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. yeah. You help cook stuff? Yeah, mostly. What do you think your, is your favorite food that daddy makes? Pizza. Pizza? Oh, oh pizza. look at that. Yeah, yeah. What are your favorite toppings on your pizza? What makes it so special? The sauce. Yeah. You guys can tell the difference between like a ragu and a pizza sauce. <laughs> oh yeah. God, look at that. They almost kicked me out of the kitchen. Uh, no, with that you don't, don't, don't say ragu. <laughs> <laughs> That's like my husband. Please, That's please. Right. All right, so we're pulling out one of so, the finished. These are our finished product. I'm sorry to walk around the counter here, but I can't reach. And here is a little stuffed French toast. You can see the. Uh, How long did you cheese? leave it in there? And that what was is in there the for temperature? About 10 or 15 minutes. Okay. We're gonna put our uh, strawberries on top. Can you uh, overcook them, leave them in the oven yeah, too could. much? You could, but you know what? It's not going to get uh, dry or anything. Too dry because it is really thick, but you can see all the love well, going on. Do you on have enough for my friends? Because um, I, I, I can, I'm going to put that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's what I mean. I'm worried. Some some powdered sugar. I mean, that is so simple and easy. It's, it, you know, put the kids in the kitchen. Let them help you do these dishes. This is really a lot of fun. All right, I'm going to get three forks, and you, and you, and me, we're going to go after that one while we're in break, while no, so nobody that sees. Good. I mean, yeah, that sounds excellent. All right, we are now prepping for what the girls call something magnificent. They didn't really say that, but that's what I got from them. Yeah, this absolutely. is a second helping dessert that this, you're making from the French toast. If there's anything left over, there was no French toast. No, there before. wasn't. Maria, can you just turn that burner off, please? We're gonna use a biscotti in a package. Gabriella's gonna start crunching these up. So all you wanna do is just Rough chop them up, break them up, throw them in the bottom. <laughs> Allie's laughing at us over there. And we're going to throw them in a coffee mug. And these are just regular biscottis. Just regular, regular Can you biscotti. use like Oreos? You can use Oreos if you want. I That's love Oreos. A little dramatic there. We're going to add about a quarter of an ounce of coffee just to soften those biscotti up just a little bit. And then the cannoli filling that we had left over. Yeah. We're going to pipe right on top. Oh my goodness. Now, just build a layer all the way up. Oh, could I use the pastry that was bag? Close. Yeah, absolutely. Here, you could finish it up. And don't, like, put it over your mouth. I was just going to say, open up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Top it off with that. What did that? Was it all written all up. over? All the way up? Yep. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Could you line before. it with, like, chocolate chips, too? You could. You absolutely. To. And then we're going to top it with a little bit of cocoa powder. Finish it with a strawberry. Get that to your guest after dinner. Guest schmest, where's my spoon? There's one. <laughs> one, one for Ellie and Joe, and Victoria gets one too. <laughs> there you go. All right, ladies, here. Spoons again. It's a super All right. easy dish. Yay. Chef Marco, Gabriella, Maria. I understand that this is, we're close to like a milestone or something. Yeah, there's a little bit of a milestone a little, we're going to hit yeah. on Friday. A Friday. Now, what is the day again? Uh, um, July 29th. Columbus Day? Was, no, no, it's it's birthday. 
birthdays. We've got birthdays coming up for two young ladies right now. 